Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 32. I am Ryan, the GM. It is the 4th of January, 2020. Welcome to the future, or the past if you're listening to this, I guess. So, here are the players. I am Callum. I play Lord Eric Gray with the Human Sorcerer. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the half elf Druid. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing a uh, half art paladin called Crumbar. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitlith Anastasia, a. Oh my god, I've not got my paper in front of me. Wood <laughs> elf. Wood elf rogue. Wood elf rogue. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got you. I, I love the it's fact that. Because I was you... looking at the other creatures from the other game I was like oh yeah that'd be cool and I'm just like what am I again <laughs> I, love, I, I love the fact that you need cue cards now that your name is that long it's not just I think <laughs> we've had cue cards a few people have had the cue cards from the start so <laughs> if it helps it helps um, right let's just get stuck into what do people remember from last time house um, <laughs> roadhouse <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think we're all about to get roadhouse um, well not a lot really happened in the camp, but um, at the start. But obviously, I was away trying to find us some horses again, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I got lightning bolted and put through a tree. You didn't get lightning yeah. bolted. You got pushed. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I got static I got statically electrocuted. Yeah, electrocuted. Electrocuted. <laughs> Wonderful um, words. Uh, yeah, good game, guys. See you later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> GG, guys. Yeah, so, so I got Crumbar got put through a tree, and then yeah. uh, not Zadreka, just kind of Decana, like that one. Yeah, not Zadreka. Uh, zoomed away a wee bit. <laughs> like to the best of her like... abilities, she uh, fucked off. Yeah, they bop it. They see you later. Bippity boppity lightning bolt. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you had a bit of a a heart to heart with a uh, Decana. She then decided she wanted to move on and pushed you through a tree. And then, realistically, though, right? Maybe, maybe she did that so you wouldn't get hit by the lightning bolt. <laughs> Sorry, there's there's like some mad crow outside my window just going bark bark, and just as you said that. <laughs> um, Odin? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Am I needed? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it's like, oh crap, sorry guys, Ice Giants are back. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like, from all I remember from that experience is I I got up, kind of brushed myself off, and it was that kind of, I need to find horses, and then uh, I thought I was going to get attacked, but it turned out just to be the rest of my party. So it's fine. Yeah, my favourite part is when you're like, guys, something's coming, and then everyone's like, is, is it? <laughs> And then they were like, yeah, something's coming. And then you go, no, I think that was us, buddy. You're okay, buddy. Come back to us. <laughs> Still in shell shock. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Um, no, I'd say so, yeah. And then, and then, yeah, as Sophie said, house. Yeah, so I think when it dawned on Eric that Decana might not have been who she said she was, and then when Eric realised maybe Decana never actually said she was that anyway, and we maybe all just said it was her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because then we were asking Eric about it, and then you're, like, you narrated that obviously he then remembers that the Rain, uh, no, no, um, the Saphir family doesn't have a daughter. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. And then. That's what you get for thinking we are dick, bro. And then Callum and we had a chat later. I don't know if it was on recording or not, but I think it was, uh, I think it was after. And he said that. You realised that every time he spoke to her, she says, "Call me Decana." Like whenever they say the Lady Sophia, she waved it off as if you don't need to call me Lady Sophia. And he was like, "Wait a minute, the whole time, the whole time, she said she wasn't Lady Sophia." Yeah. So it makes good relisting, by the way. Anybody that wants to go relisten to all those specific word choices that were made um, through any conversation Decana had. But yeah. Then, in Eric's panic and worry, he was like, hmm, my family's in trouble. Let's go, hammer. Smacks the ground. <clears> and then the red flash happens and nothing nothing appears beneath him and he doesn't fall through a portal. And then... then like, the I just I just like how... 
like this has clearly had such an impact that it's not just affected Crumbar, it's also affected Eric's kind of train of thought and way of processing things. And it's just been that kind of let's act completely irrational. I mean, for for Eric, I guess it would be what like let's get back home because my family's in trouble because this woman's posed as some person who's been really close to my family, right? Mm-hmm. And that's all he's got left. So yeah, that makes sense. So obviously the hammer thought, I've got you, buddy. Here's your house. <laughs> Here you go, bro. <laughs> hammer did <do> good. <laughs> Let's go, talking hammer. Um, hammer do bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, see if your hammer unlocks the ability to speak. That would be so good. Yeah, but what if it was just like a dude, bro? What's up, buddy? That's nah, it. you'd have to be French. All hammers are French. I don't think Everyone that's true. Knows this. I mean... <laughs> I'd like it to be German. Okay. <laughs> um, on the subject of who's hammers, what nationality? Goals. So, bearing in mind... We're all about to die. <laughs> yeah. What would you like your goal to be, Cal? There we go. What would you like your goal to be? I don't know. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, right. Something to do with keeping her family safe, but I don't think I did that. I think I put them in more danger. So, why don't you make it something about making sure my family are okay, given the falling house, right? Or trying to find out what happened to your family, or something akin to like being about your sisters, not so much your parents, right? Or it could easily just be starting a new life under a new name. You know? Does that work? We might need adjusting as we go, but yeah. Because uh. keep in mind, it needs to be something you actively contribute towards. See what I mean? Um like for example saying I will never kill the king but then you'd never interact with the king in any way and you were never going to kill him you can't get that goal because you're never actively contributing towards it does that make sense? so think about goals that way where you can actively be a participant in it so making sure my sisters live through the falling house is like how would you like what would you do to do that considering you'd need to do it before the house landed right? True. Yeah, I don't know. It's a tough one. Um, it's a very tough one. Any, any suggestions for uh, Callum and the goal for Eric? Could he even get try his ha- find a way to get his house back in or uh, back to its its known address. <laughs> Take his house home. <laughs> I think it it will stay where it is. <laughs> I don't think I can move it again. <laughs> not, not after at least you have a wee lie down and a glass of orange juice <laughs> <laughs> oh I love that did, did the orange juice survive get me a glass of it <laughs> um, yeah it could be something like um, it could even be like work out who Takana was right it could be oh, something good point. Like, like it could be like <laughs> oh, that's a good one. oh good point like it could be working on that it could be a like I get that your immediate thought would be on your your family and sisters and stuff. It makes sense, but then like slightly more longer term, it could be you know, like why was she at your family? What like what? Why did she come with you guys? What the hell is Crumbar talking about? And yeah, does that mean? I mean, what the hell Crumbar's talking about could be used at quite a lot of times, though. Yeah, so that's like not the, really the, the, <laughs> it's the go-to blank goal, <laughs> the default text. I think that is just the goal of the series. Crumbar says what. Um, <laughs> right, okay, so Arya, goal, cool. also let's just uh, clarify so the people at home that can't read the documents we read, work out who Takana is slash was, cool um, that's yes. Eric's Arya well, mine was to learn Inferno from Karambar, but I think that I'm, we may have slightly bigger fish to fry right now, so I believe I, um, I believe when we last talked about it, you said that I could shelve it and it will still yeah. I'll still have well, that progress you know yeah. like you would well, when you 
they well, still really got, say anything. We've still got a uh, probably going to have a travel to go, so we could probably do some yeah. more. Well, or yeah. when the house lines on, you just start swearing in Infernal. <laughs> <laughs> That's bit, not well, too to bad. Be honest, that's all certain people learn from yeah. some languages, which is actually quite sad. Because, for example, all the women want to learn how to say "I love you," and then all the men learn how to swear. Yeah, it's but, it's a good. Yeah. That's why you have um, couples, right? So you can then combine your knowledge. <laughs> um, on that but note, yeah. though, like for this one, you could shelve "Learn Infernal" from Cumber and put yeah, like a more pressing goal like in place if you wanted. That. Um, so just chuck like, it to the side. Um, um, I was thinking more sort of like, you know, try to ensure that both the party and the people in the house survive. How will you do this? that, though? Because um, as soon as you find like, one dead body, that goal's failed, right? Yeah, I guess. Um, like, can you see what I mean by like okay. tailoring people's try, goals? Try to... Try to help the party survive this falling house thing by maybe, you know, pulling them out of harm's way and, like, for example, like, just, you know, making, I don't know, observation skills trying to figure out, because obviously we have trees and stuff around us, so we can't, maybe can't really see it properly. We just see that it's above us, right? So maybe just, you know, try to find out the best possible way to to help the party survive a falling house because i don't think any of us have any levitation powers to keep it <laughs> in the air holds up feather stop <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so how do you want to word that then right yeah that's that's the million dollar question is just um that we just just try to Help the party survive the falling house. Pop that into your goal. Uh, it would need yep. to be. Um, yeah, I think we can probably work with that. There might be qualifiers to it, right? But yeah, we'll definitely work with that. I can't answer. remember where the like ones that we show for a little. Just while on ago. the the left. Okay, cool, cool. Just in that list. Just pop your name somewhere and then. Oops. That's fine. That'll do. That was. That was. That was acceptable. Like oh yeah, for a second I thought I had actually. Um, nah, we're good. You can just like people I can. I thought I had in. deleted it. Nah, we'll reformat this at some point as well. Do you know what I mean so? Uh, right. So, you work on the wording of yours, and I'll come back to you. Crumb bar. Mm-hmm. Goal. 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 What's Goal! Your, what is uh, your, yeah. uh, I'm I'm still happy with uh, tracking down the red robe man and finishing him off for good. Okay, so that, that sounds like two separate goals though. No, yeah, like we'll finish off the red robe. Well, I mean, obviously tracking him down will be, you know, at one goal and then I, if I make finishing him off for good being another one, then that's kind of just jumping off the back of each other. Um, yeah, but learning how to do something and doing it are two different things, right? Like gathering intel mm -hmm. is one thing and like executing a plan so is So maybe, thing. yeah, okay, maybe maybe gather more information on them. Yeah, that could be, like... So I'm gonna just kind of park that there. Yeah. Because this guy is really becoming a thorn in my side. Mm-hmm. Especially even down to the fact that he took away your uh, agency, right? Mind control. Yeah. To find out more, watch the previous episodes. Like and or subscribe. Tell a friend. Uh, what's well, so the find out information about? Yeah, it's about... Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, like for example, find out information about the red robe man. You probably want to like narrow that down ever so slightly, because I'm not going to give you if you find out like the most well, like basic information, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. But like the goal is to find try and like 
Like, I, I want to basically find like, them and find out see. origins of the Red Robe Man. Find out the plans of the Red Robe Man. Find out find weaknesses out of the Red Robe Man. Find to, out, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, there's various stuff there. Find out how to locate them. Also, hello. Hello. Not really. Hey, look who it is. Yeah, hello, made it. Are you joining us? Whole party. Yeah, if you're do ready. Can yeah. just do the intro just now? Because we've already done our intros. We're doing goals. Right. Hello, I'm Stuart. Yay. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Perfect. Welcome. Um, we're reviewing goals. You missed what happened last time, but we'll go back over in a second. Yeah. Um, nice to have you back and Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year, everyone. Yes. Happy New Year! Happy, Happy New Year! Oh yeah! Happy New Year, guys! <laughs> that did happen. Yeah. Yep, yep. It is now 2020. Um, while he's wording his goal, Stu, do you know what happened last session? I don't, I'm afraid. No. It's okay, I figured that. I figured that. It's fine. Well, um, we'll let them review that with you very briefly in a second. Uh, yeah. Uh, while we're doing that, Kate, are you good for goals just now? Um, well, did you read my goal? <laughs> yeah, so it says, survive being crushed by a falling house. Which might be a bit of a spoiler yeah. for Stu. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I don't know how much you can have that as a goal, right? Because what are you going to do to contribute to that actively that isn't just going to happen oh, anyway, up right? Up. Yeah. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> like, can you, like, for example, yeah, tell me, like, the what you think would qualify as achieving that, right? And I'll see if it, like, it, that would be actually be a, an active That's goal. Dice throw involved, more than likely. But. Yeah. yeah, it probably would be like a, an agility thing. Like a, an agility check, make sure you can actually run far enough away. So I feel like everybody's going to be doing athletics checks anyway, right? So yeah. That's, yeah, it needs to kind of be a bit more that you have active contribution over, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. Like, for example, if you had powers that, at a cost to you, could have saved a couple of other people in the party, for example, you could use that and then get them out of dodge. But then, you know, that's just doing stuff you can do anyway. Mm. You know, it's a tricky one. For example, you. I'm watching this house move fall down from a nice safe distance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. You well, weren't well, here last well, time, so well, you've like some just came in. We'll, 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 we'll catch you up in a second. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, as I said, Kitty is currently on and off trains at the moment, so we'll we'll work on coming back to her goal sort of in a second. Right? Yeah. I am Arya. We've got yours, which is help party prevent death b via hovering house. Right. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Yeah. That's that seems viable, right? I think that's <laughs> that's reasonable. I think it's also why we can't have Kitty's goal just be off the back of that, because you achieving your oh, goal yeah, means she can achieve it. her goal. So <laughs> yours is fine. Um but we need to work on I need to work on Kitty's a bit. Okay. Um, <laughs> now Stu I would ask uh, <laughs> would you like to update your goal um for the moment? Um, but why don't we catch you up first, and then, and then we'll talk about yeah. goals. So, does somebody want to catch up, Stu, roughly in order of how things happened? Scott, go for it. You'll be good at this. Um, yeah. So, like I was saying last time, uh, so not a lot really happened at the camp. They were just kind of sorting out the loot and the uh, where you're gonna house everyone for the night and stuff. Me and uh, Decana had taken a wee stoke to find the horses. Um, well, on that, we were have she was being very cryptic in her conversation, confusing me quite a wee bit, and then decided she mentioned something about her brother's influence being wrapped in a not. What was it you said? Her brother's something wrapped in gold or something like that. Either way. Her brother's influence I, at the camp is what she was um, yeah, talking about. Um, and then she says, I come here and I find this instead. And she gestures to you. And she says, wrapped mm. in gold because you're wearing gold armor. Because I'm a baller. <laughs> um, then she like pushed me through a tree um, and then zapped away. Um, Crumbar wakes up a bit dazed and confused and just goes, I need to find horses. So he takes a wee stoke to go find the horses. Uh, he thinks he's about to get attacked, 
so he hangs back and tries to hide but fails miserably. Um, and then it turned out to be like all the troops coming over to investigate why a big fuck off lightning bolt just struck. And um, he says that he means the rest of the party, Stu, not oh, just yeah, a random yeah, yeah. troop of soldiers. Yeah. yeah. Um, you stayed back in the camp to look after the 45 villagers. I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so you did. Uh, yeah, and then um, <laughs> when uh, Eric realized that he, that the Severe family didn't actually have a daughter, he was worried about his family, tried to go home, and teleported his house on top of us. <laughs> the end. Yeah, right. So what you've seen from the the kind of raised up post that looks out over the, the camp uh, the is where fucked. Tower, is <laughs> there's a lightning bolt strike and thinking, so uh, the Kana and Crumbar are down that way, right? And then the party go, right, we'll go investigate and then you nobly stayed behind to look after the survivors. And then after like another half an hour of them running off into the woods, you just see the Rainwood estate materialise above the like the kind of the forest and start falling. So yeah, kind of had that shot of now the guy from Yavin Four with the speed gun for all the space like kind of ships in Star Wars. Stu, that was kind of your guy just looking out over the forest. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you're in the camp. You've saw a house materialize after a bolt of lightning has struck the same place or thereabouts in the woods. Um, Good news. I figured out where we're going to house the forty people. <laughs> 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 I am. Um, so based on that, goals, Stu. Would you like to to update your goal and shelf that one for now, or are you happy with it as is? What's the thoughts? Yeah, uh, to be fair, just leave it as is at the moment. Yeah, cool. As, it's not ideally going to happen today. I doubt, but still, leave it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Right. And once we get access to Kitty again, we'll come back to her goal. I will work on that. Right, okay, so we shall come Absolutely. back to Kitty's goal. There we go. Okay, that's that works for me. I think we've got find out info in Red Robe Man, help party prevent death via hovering house. Um, yeah, those work so far. Right, so we open on Again, just that shot from the camp looking out towards the, the forest. House materialises out of like red energy and slowly starts to fall. Um, Reach, when you see this, what is your thoughts? So some of the camp, like maybe about four or five of the women of the camp have like picked up torches and stuff and like some have picked up weird orc weapons just to try and help patrol. The little kind of campsite while other yeah. people rotate in and out of sleep just to help out with watch but not everybody can because of illness and various conditions so the paladin's still unconscious um, and like it's pretty much lying next to a campfire as well so he hasn't woke up yet either what do you do as the sole guardian of this camp really? <laughs> the house is in a distance here yeah, so it's it's about like if you had to run it would be like maybe 20 minutes away, right? Maybe 15 actually if you were running because you're fast. So, Go yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you could probably get there in about 15 minutes, really. Um, maybe even 10. You're really fast, so maybe even 10, right? To if be, you went flat out. Yeah, to be honest, I do want to run there. Yeah. Uh, I you want went, to run there, but shout to the camp, stay here and uh, keep guard, stay within the, within mm -hmm. the camp, right? Yeah, That's and then you only like boost off into the woods. Yeah. Right. Cool. So you you, you start running away towards the the falling house. It will definitely land before you get there. <laughs> um, yeah. um, meanwhile, uh, Arya might be able to prevent it. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> as um, the camera like you know starts to follow Reach, like break out into a full on run. Um, the camera then moves faster beyond them and then zooms all the way through the trees to you guys. We've got Eric on the ground, like punching the ground where obviously the hammer was supposed to open a portal back to Glitterhagen and then everybody looks up and sees this big overcast like mass which is like a landmass underneath the Rainwood Estate falling what do you do? I, I don't think I'd be able to see it right? 
And I, I personally feel like even if they were shouting at me, I'd still be punching the ground in frustration. Okay. Shadow might be a wee hint. <laughs> well, it, it's also kind of dark though as well. It's like kind of oh. late evening now. I am. Um, um, I'll tell you. In oh, fact, now just we'll just go down in order. I take it. Yeah. No, like it's if you've got something, yeah, go for it. There's no order just now. There's mostly panic. Okay. Well, straight off the bat, I'm gonna cast that. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of faith in that shield. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you have any spell slots left? Yeah, I have Good, one left. Like, because ori originally I was looking at it, I'm like, I'm going to cast Misty uh, Steps and just yeet away, <laughs> but I don't have any level two, yeah. so I'm going to cast that. What hit points and... do you have as well, by the way? What, sorry? What hit points do you have? Currently, I have 22. Oh, right, okay. That's a lot more. Yeah, he got um, the kind of, when they were walking through the woods and having a chat, I, she handed him a very, oh, very yeah. decent oh, killing potion. Oh, dude, that thing was brilliant. So, <laughs> it was like Christmas in July. <laughs> I hate Christmas. Uh, right. So um, out of place is what you're saying it was. Um, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to cast that and literally just whatever they In fact, is there anyone around me? Yeah, the party. Like, are they in grab? <laughs> is anyone in grabbing distance? Um, yeah, the party. So, was, everybody wasn't but, Ari everybody but Eric, because remember, Eric took steps back from everyone uh, mm. to do the portal so nobody get pulled in. In that case, if uh, Kitty and Aria are beside me, I'm just going to grab one of their wrists each and just be like, run and just r start running in the. Whichever direction is away from the house. <laughs> yeah. Any? Really? Yeah. Can I also make a reaction? Uh, it depends if the trigger for the reaction would have worked. So the trigger for the reaction is before the house hits the ground, cover Kitty and Aria with myself. Yeah, oh, you're going to go full hero here. Yeah. Not, so if the house is not big enough to kill you, the crumb bar might be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, let's see, two wee seconds, let's see. That was going to be how I finished my sentence, but yeah, great ones. <laughs> Another yeah. thing is, by the way, you know that Arya and Kitty can both run faster than you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, if they two want to do that, that's fine with me. Actually, no, I have 30 speed, so no. Oh, you can't, so right. Oh. <laughs> Um, let's see. Yeah, you can do that. So you want to grab? I would say, what's your strength score? My strength is sixteen. Right. Okay. Yeah, you could probably easily grab one and pull them. a uh, strong enough for them to get like you know a tiny bit of a head start. I will sense. grab. But you could grab both, but then you would be like. You'd be held back, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'll grab Aria then, just because I'm pretty sure Kitty is a bit more, you know, zimmable. Alright, so here's <laughs> what we have so far. <laughs> oh, did this just uh, get made up right now, by any chance? Yeah, I literally just made it just now. <laughs> He's stinked. Yeah, so I'm a grab... <laughs> so I've casted a Shield of Faith, grabbed Aria by the wrist, and just been like, Run, and I'm a like. I want you to roll ball. athletics Not then that. for me. Um, Grab the other way. Um, can I still be able to proc that reaction? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, <gasps> Boom. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you can. Bolt. Who is it? You're pulling. Sorry, you said. I know you just. Said uh, Aria, just because I figured cool. Kitty's he's gonna just. Arya, can you give me an athletics as well? And I'm assuming you're going to go with them as opposed yeah. to hold back, unless yep, yep, anyone yep. has noticed that Eric's still like on the ground. Yeah. But he's like a bit away from us anyway, isn't it? Like 15 feet or something, yeah. The reason I'm wanting to do that react more than anything just because, Ryan, I know what you're like. So even if we do clear it, I guarantee you'll still be like, oh, but debris flung off and hit you in the head and now you it's have... It's not me, it's just physics. How dare you? <laughs> it's physics? What, like teleporting out? Yeah, 
move a house from one place to the other, things are going to fall. Obviously. Um, right, so are you going to run towards the camp or away from the camp? There's a good uh, question. Whichever way is quickest away from the estate. You wouldn't know. Um, you just I'm need to pick going... a direction, really. And we're going to simplify it into two that, directions. Right, cool. That way. <laughs> right, okay, that's fine. So you want to go that way. Cool. Right, um, I don't know, do we have Kitty back with us, maybe? Maybe she's still on mute. We will hear back from oh. Kitty. Oh, there we go, we got uh, you back there. I've uh, just got back in. No problem. Um, Everything. We still need to narrow down your goal, um, just as an FYI, but also the... I assume you heard everything that happened, so we're mostly waiting to see what your yeah. reaction is. Um, we've got currently Crumbar grabs Arya and they bolt to, like away from the camp. like Because you've kind of got ground zero being this where you are now, and then running in mm. any direction is viable, right? But mostly I'm simplifying it to towards the camp or away from the camp. Okay. And Eric's on the ground having punched the ground. You obviously were the first to spot the house in the first place. <laughs> Drawing. <laughs> it's wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's Stella. It's, Thank uh, you. It's awesome. This is my art. Yep. Um, so, what um, what does Katie do? What's her like shotgun reaction? Um, well, seeing as I've been left to fend for myself, I will try and grab Eric and yeah, try yeah. and yeet him out the way of the house as well. Cool. What's your strength score as well? Um, phone one. I can find out if it's difficult. Let's see, seconds. Eight. Yeah. So it's minus one. It's okay. So can you do oh. an athletics check for me, please? And we'll see how this goes. Athletics don't let me down. Jesus, take the wheel! Right, okay. <gasps> I, right, now, Eric. Kitty, uh, like, Crumbar and Arya bolt. Kitty grabs you and tries to, like, pull you up. What do you do instinctively? I grab hold of her and fund the step away. Cool. Where? Oh, yeah. Towards the camp. Towards the camp. Cool. And the range on that is. 90 feet. Cool. Nice. Let me work this out in my head now. Uh -huh. 30 meters, right? Really? Um, cool. You do that, there's a crack of thunder where obviously it hits. I think it's got the same audible components as all the other spells, etc. Uh, um, do that. I might as well do that as well. Take that, that, trees. Um, Huge trees! Because <laughs> it's where you leave that takes the damage, isn't it? Not where you land. So, yes. Cool. Right, you i just like to say, when we land, like, static electricity, my head, like, stood up on end. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a cat anymore. This would be a lot worse. Oh, God, could you imagine that? Um, <laughs> well, I think the good thing is, it's all thunder, so it's all sound, as opposed to electricity. Um... Which is good. It was like a you might boom. feel a weird sensation as you've been teleported away. Yeah, probably that kind of, you know, when your stomach falls away beneath you and you go, whoa. <laughs> it's probably something akin to that. Um, or oh, a thousand vomiting butterflies, who knows, in your stomach. These things. Yeah. And um, yeah, so you might not necessarily clear the blast radius. So as soon as you appear, do you still run, or what? Is Kitty like a bit like what the fuck just happened? <laughs> um, I'll probably just be like, oh, what the shit, but um, I'd quickly get my bearings, like, because I'd be able to hear the house still falling. Um, I still can't see, so I'd still be clubbing to Kitty. Sorry for interrupting. That's okay. No, it's all right. It's it'd be like, I. The way my character would have done it, she would have grabbed onto like. Are you wearing a cloak? Yes. Yeah, I'd have like grabbed onto the back of his cloak. He probably would have like instantly looked up and have been like, "The house is falling on top of us right now." He's like thunderclap away, and then I'd be like, "Whoa, what the heck just happened?" Mm -hmm. And yeah, just 
still hold of him, realise we're still in the danger zone. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and like, just pull him with me while I cool. yeet us out the way. I need an athletics check from Eric as well, because I need to see oh. if he hinders or helps. Oh. No, that's okay, that's reasonable, yeah. He yeah. stumbles, you know, that's he can't see after all. Surprisingly good though. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I think from Reach's point of view, you've got Reach just, you know, Terminator 2 running towards this, like, through <laughs> trees and whatnot, and um, you just hear, like, again, a big thunderous boom, which, you know, could be really so anything. <laughs> like, like, yeah. <laughs> I love the idea that it's not, okay, the people are fighting or in danger, it's, I am really fast. <laughs> I am. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think I think the estate hits the ground at this point, and there's just boom, and then rubble hits the camera, and then everything goes black, and then it just comes up the title screen, and then uh, you know we have the sometime later. Uh, uh, I've ruined funeral. <laughs> bear with me <laughs> one second, guys. Talk amongst yourselves or catch reach up more. Brb. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to actually think what. Else has really happened since. Wait, you... Hold on, what about the canna? The canna's related to the paladin who's unconscious, no? Or no. We don't know exactly we, we who know. the canna is. We've had so many. We think yeah. she's the blue dragon. Right. That yeah. has that has this weird bond, that bond thing with. Um... Told you she was trouble. Right? Yeah, yeah, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um... And as soon as she had. It was mentioned that she had blue eyes, I was like, blue dragon. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's 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 a wee bit worrying because if it is, then hmm, we might need to go. We still about to to find her. <sighs> yeah, because there was also um, sorry. I'm back. Carry on. You've been right. looking for blue dragons, Eric. Though is that something that you think is related to your uh, marbling? <laughs> It might um, have been why she was so interested in him. Yeah. Not because your character isn't handsome, I'm sure. I don't know. I reckon, I reckon he looks quite rugged at this point. He hasn't shaved in a while. <laughs> a bit, I, I imagine he looks a bit unkempt. <laughs> All those highborn ladies like the rugged stuff, apparently. Uh, we don't even know she's highborn. <laughs> well... This is the world we live in. She's now, clearly isn't it? had an education. Maybe she's literally, you know, high born, you know. <laughs> came out of an egg somewhere really high in the mountains, just saying. Are you just saying though? I feel like you're being really unsubtle. <laughs> <laughs> um right, so sorry, my front door went hence I had their bolt there. Right, now the I was like, what, a Saturday? People yeah, come to my house. Teleported them. <laughs> <laughs> Knock terrible. at the door. Uh, have you been moving houses again? <laughs> Yes. That's me. Um, you just appear, and then Kitty, you snap your head around and go, fuck, we're still in the danger zone, as you put it. And then you grab Eric by the cloak more, pull. Eric switches on and just starts gunning it as well. So you guys are running towards the, the camp. We've got Crumbar and Arya at the far side. And estate hits, boom, black, title screen, door knocks. I run away, come back, chatting. Wait, what? So, you've then got... Bar like that inside of the <laughs> <laughs> So, I think what happens is a need constitution saves from everybody the house would have hit, which is still everyone, except Reach. <laughs> constitution, yeah? Yeah. Crumbar punches house back into Glitter Higgin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, this is a bad time not to have my luck. Yeah. It's alright, I'll protect you. I'm guessing a druid's not as used to having houses landing on her. That's <laughs> <laughs> not something I trained for, no. Yeah. The funny thing is, as well, like. Why does Eric have a plus six to a con save? How? What? Oh yeah, how? I do as well. That is interesting. Do you? Are you meant to? <laughs> I, well, it's been it's been ticked since we made the character. 
I mean, possibly. Let me have a quick nose at that. I'm just looking at everyone's bonus. How do you have a plus six? Let's look. Wow. Right? Yeah. I am a constitution. Con save. How, though? How? What do you have? What type of sorcerer are you? You didn't get any bonuses from being... No, nothing here gives you bonuses to being... Yeah, I'm not too sure why it is fixed, but it's been there uh, since... Like, it's fine, like, character. you should be good at probably two saving throws anyway, and sorcerers are good at con and charisma, but... If I untick that, it goes to three or two. Oh, I know why it's higher now. Get so proficiency. Uh, the proficiency is plus three. But where's the three coming from? Because your con's only two. Yeah, where is the one coming from? That's what I don't get. Interesting. Because charisma is a six. Sorry, deception, sorry, is a six because your charisma is three plus the three from your proficiency. So I know I can't, but your charisma saving throw is a seven. Interesting. I'll need to look at that because I don't know if that's right. Um, or if you want to do all the maths in the background, feel free to because it'll be in the book somewhere. Um, but I don't know why that's so high. But maybe it is supposed to be. Okay. I just feel like. Well, Crumbar's Possibly got. Let me just tick that if it was Easy in. to see why, but yeah. Because was... con save for Crumbar. Crumbar doesn't have it ticked, so it's a 2 because his con is a 2. And if I tick it, it goes to 5, which makes sense because his proficiency is 3. Wait, what don't I have ticked? Should I have something no. ticked? No. Oh, right, okay. So your constitution saving throw isn't one of your proficiencies, right, Crumbar? Right. So you don't have it ticked, which means it's based on your constitution score. Which the mod for the mod for it is a two. If you tick it, it would go to five because your proficiency is three. Everybody's proficiency is three. But for right, some reason, right, okay. Callum's got an extra one from somewhere. I oh, we don't know where. Do you know? It might be the hammer. The hammer oh. might be adding to that, and I don't know if it's supposed to. But we'll deal with that. No, do you know what it is? It's your cloak. Yeah, that's what I see in it. Read it. It's no. It's both. It's plus, it's the cloak that Decana gave you. That's why that makes sense. Good. We're back on board. <laughs> Good maths works out again. The universe can continue. <laughs> Dear God, my brain was just fried there, being like that doesn't make sense, but I don't know why. Forgetting that it's plus one to AC and saving throws. Oh like yeah. Cloak gives you, and it's just blanket saving throws, not specific. Oh yeah, because the strength is zero now, not minus one. It's pretty good, to be honest. It's pretty damn good. Yeah, pretty um, really good. However, <laughs> only help. only Crumbar deals with this next step very well, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, let me find out the the outcome for you. So. Mm, yeah, it is going to be four d ten. Yeah, Ouch. to me. No, to everyone but me. <laughs> so, twenty-two damage to everyone except Crumbar and Reach. Uh, Crumbar, you'll take eleven. <coughs> What about Arius and Maria? Yeah, I'm with the kitchen? Say again, sorry. Mind how my I did my reaction. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, I'd say that's for enough. Then you can give her a advantage on her con save because of that. Mm -hmm. So do you want to roll again, Arya, for your oh, con okay. save? I would say that makes just sense a, that you could give her advantage a, based yeah, on that. Just a normal roll or advantage? No, she would roll again because she's already rolled. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> she's wow. third six. Oh, Jesus. So I take 11, yeah? Yes. You've literally half my hope. I take it to zero, that. right? Sorry? I'm 17, but it doesn't go minus, right? It does. It does? Okay. Yeah, track it for uh, me. Minus five? Yep, yep. So, no one be dead, please. <laughs> what I'm is, like, sure I have some health potions in my pockets. So you're minus five. Oh, you're yeah. unconscious. So you're minus five. What, uh, Crumbar? What are you on? Uh, Eleven. Eleven. And what about Kitty and Eric? 
I'm on 10. I'll check Kitty just now. I don't know if Kitty made any adjustments to her health yet. Um, if she did, she's on five. If she didn't, she's unconscious. So we'll work. We'll we'll deal with that in a second. Yeah, I don't think she was as low as five. Might be. Might not have been. Depends. I don't. I don't, so I don't think so either. Um, oh, she's typing. Yes. Let's wait and see what happens. The uh, man who delivered the package. Sorry about that. It's okay. I just, I just had someone knock on the door, be like, "Oh, can I just charge my phone in here?" I'm like, <laughs> he's, "He asked me if I'd mind." I'm like, "Yeah, I do mind." I went, "Oh, can I?" I went, "No, these are my personal quarters, and I don't want to deal with customers. That's yeah. why I'm a cleaner. And <laughs> don't have to deal with them." Uh, did it. Did what? you take the damage to your character sheet already, there, Kitty? Sorry, or yes, cool. Yes, right, I did. So you're on five, yeah. I am on. Five. Cool. So, Crumbar, you stay conscious through this, right? Everything else gets knocked out by it. Ooh, um, oh, Reach, can't pit you... Can you give me a perception check, please, with advantage? Yeah. Uh, but it will be something very easy to spot. <laughs> this isn't about spotting the house, no. You guys already seen the house. <laughs> No, I mean, like, what has happened that it fell. Whatever. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yep, good, good. Whoop, whoop. So, you... I don't know if it's maybe the slight... Like, kind of, keep in mind, your night vision's black and white, so it's probably like a really bright shine, like um, something hitting something reflective with night vision, um, of anything Kitty has, because it's all golden, or if it's um, just like the kind of uh, cloak uh, that Eric has. I mean, I am glowing, so that could be a hint as well. Yeah, like all your tattoos and stuff as well. I am giving off a tiny, tiny bit of light that's maybe perceivable. But either way, the edge of like the rubble and stuff that is hit, because this thing hits and then you get that big kind of whoosh of air um, as it lands on them. And then by the time you catch up, you spot them too, like buried in in rubble. Like they just barely made it to the edge and it's still landed on them. Yeah. Rubble, rubble, or does it look as though there's still walls and stuff like that? Is it just look bricks kind of thing and stuff? Or so, bricks and wood? if you imagine the Rainwood estate, right? So the house, the outhouses, yeah. the garden, etc. And then imagine somebody took a spoon or like an ice cream scoop and lifted it that way. So chunks of land have came with it, right? Yeah. So that all fell. So they're buried under like a bit of a like broken up landmass and like crumbling bits of rubble in house and stuff because not many houses survive being dropped no I can't say they would would they <laughs> so yeah so it, to you it looks like um, I don't know probably like as if they're bits of a quarry site right because it's massive wall of dirt and rubble so uh, right so try and oh, oh that's okay. try and take them out <laughs> It <laughs> <laughs> looks as though it's almost right. Wizard of Oz esque, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> it actually looks really nice if they can make that stable. Yeah. I'd love that. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, so like, if you want to try and dig them out, yeah, you can. Um, do you want to give me like an athletics check? Normal athletics, athletics check, and we'll see. Uh, Normal. Athletics. How you got one? My strength is not good, unfortunately. It's okay. It just it just means it will take you a bit of time, right? It's doable. It just yeah. means it will take time. I am. Um, meanwhile. At the so other this side. Is him, this is him running over to fight, get us now, basically. Well, no, because you're at the other Might side of the estate. Two first, yeah. No, but I mean, that's this is that, yeah. uh, Reach running over to us, then, yeah. yeah. Reach the blast zone, the danger zone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, so if I do this and this, and then like, I guess. Oh, dear. Oh. Also, I was noticing a distinct lack of lack of cash on my body, but that's something for later. <laughs> no, the loot was not actually like you spoke about it, but it's still no decisions have been made. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I I meant to comment on that earlier, but that's fine. Um, also, at any point, Kitty, if you think of a goal, let me know as we go. Um, so yeah, Crumbar and Arya are here at this side with a massive pile of rubble in the state in between, and. Uh, this is a 
reach in the gang at that side. Um, and let me see, this is um, significant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it, that's significant <laughs> to yeah. the point where uh, let's just focus there. So that's like the top down view, if you will. Um, it would be difficult to see how far it goes because it is dark and it is just a massive landmass. But Crumbart, you are half covered in like rubble and stuff. Um, you've tried to obviously get Arya, but like through something hitting you guys, like you've not really helped. Like by trying to like protect her, it's not really. I, worked. I've I've, I've kind of got this image in my head that like, as it's kind of came to a crash down, I've went to protect her, and then it's just kind of blown. Yeah, like, like the both forces apart, yeah. pushed me over, and I've basically just squished her a little bit. Well, no, like it's not so much that. I think it's more like as you went to try and like protect her and like land, mm -hmm. like the forces hit and it's knocked you clear. Yeah, yeah. Like, then the rest of it's landed on her. Hence why she took the kind of the brunt of the attack. Um, Saws. But you can't see her now. So you get up, you shake mm. your head, because you can get up relatively quick, um, and you look around, you can't see her, this thing's just landed. There's so much dust and like debris in the air at the moment, um, so it's difficult to see anyway. Yeah. So what do you do? I stand up brush myself off and then just have a look around realize that obviously Arya is nowhere to be seen mm -hmm. so i just start shocking uh like picking up like bits of debris and just like flinging them away to try and get to Give find me her. perception and athletics uh which one first either or doesn't matter oh either or yeah uh, this seems to be narrated with both anyway so cool so perception and athletics. <laughs> well, I mean, that would make sense that my athletics would be low. And then, yeah, so you you weigh in and you're trying to pull things in, but yeah, you're kind of... Sorry, what? Like, as you're pulling and digging and whatnot, more of this rubble is, like, falling down. Um, mm. So, yeah, it is not good. Let us roll... Roll initiative for me. Can everybody drag a token hey. onto this map for me? I was going to say there's no... Remember, do that, go to your character, drag your character's name onto the map, dump it on, and then... Uh, Where'd my guy go? Calm bar. There we go. He wasn't wanting to... Uh, oh, wait, right, that's going to work. Also, I need to clear this initiative, so whoever actually did that, we'll just need to do it again. So. No way! My best <laughs> role ever <laughs> <for> initiative <laughs> Uh, uh, that's okay, I'll add you back in. <laughs> it's just, I want to always have the chance to clear the initiative before we can roll again. Yeah. Um, um, so also narratively, I thought quite odd. So <laughs> one has got my yeah, no, does it make so sense? He's skinny thing. <laughs> yep. Oh, boom, I think that's the best I've ever rolled. Uh, <laughs> did I delete anyone I else's pre down, I don't right? think so. Uh, no, I need you to roll as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's surprising. No, it's in fact you're the reason everybody has to roll. God damn it. Oh shit, yeah, I know now. Um, <laughs> I can't... I'm a bit confused, I don't see my token. Yeah, because you need to drag it onto the map. It's now the time to mention that turning into an elephant would be quite useful. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> or a JCB. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so in the journal... Is it not your character that you do? Yeah, there is. Click I see it. Card. So, click on your token. I, I see oh, I them. see myself now. Yeah. Sorry, I, I literally couldn't see it. I just refreshed the page. Oh. I'm gonna put you there. I'm gonna put them like there and there. Not that this is to scale anyway. Okay. There's the day of bad rolls apparently. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. So. Yeah, we'll do this uh, now that we've done the order. So. We'll, this is how it'll work. Can Reach give me another athletics check? Another what check? Athletics so? for me. Athletics. Assuming, assuming you're still digging them out. Yeah, still digging them out. Okay, it's okay. It just means it'll take a while. Uh, 
Crumbar. Athletics and perception. Again? Yep. Is this me thinking, Eric, I wish you had smaller bricks in this house? <laughs> <laughs> Swing on your perception, buddy. Uh, yeah, for some reason I always look at perception and persuasion and I'm like, right, okay. yep. oh, wow, that was right. So after the initial, like, cave-in, when you start to pull stuff away, you start to just be like, right, cool, no, it's fine, I'll just start, like, you get a, you know, a feel for what you can move and what you shouldn't move now as the dust mm -hmm. starts to settle around you. Um, Eric, roll a... probably a con save. Nope, you're still you're still doing. Uh, Kitty, can you get a con save from you two? Nice. So Kitty, you wake up um, coughing, probably really, really, really sore. <laughs> Um, and what did we do last it's, night? it's dark as well to the point where you have a like a landmass like you're buried basically um, in the dark what do you do um, well I spit because that'll tell me if I'm upside down what way is up yeah <laughs> yep no. genius per perfect yeah Disgusting, but genius. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it is, it's not glamorous. So yeah, you, you probably, I don't know, did you land on your back, your side, whatever, you can dictate that. Yeah, you, you, um, you're just buried. That's what I care about. Uh, face face down. Yep, cool. Sort of thing. Ah, so your spit my doesn't land in your face again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so uh, I slowly sort of get onto all fours, like sort of wiggling it, sort of get rubble off kind of thing. Um, yeah, if you want to do that and try and like get yourself some more room, do you want to give me some athletics? And we'll see how well you do yeah. to give yourself a bit more room. Oh. Yeah, so you're struggling, put it that way. There's a lot of uh, weight a lot of rubble. on you. Yeah. Um, cool, I'll we'll come back to you. Death save, are you? Um. Just getting that 20. If only, let's see. Nope. Mark Ooh. one fail. Fuck. Now everyone sees why we're doing initiative, don't you? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I did realise, yeah. It's okay. Reach. Eh, uh, diggy diggy. Uh, to the athletics. Cool. Can you and also uh, give me a perception as well? Yeah, right. Perception. Nope. Oh, man. Nope, so you do not notice anything moving under the rubble yet um, properly. Uh, let's see. Crumbar. Go for yes. it. Yes. Unless if, I'm assuming you're doing the same thing until you tell me differently, just so you know. Um, yeah, I'm still just uh, chucking stuff about, yep. looking for an area. Same rules, yep. Same rules again, yeah? Yep. Right. So reach roll a d2 for me in the meantime as well. <laughs> I'm proper tanking it. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I rolled That's fine. perception second though. Cool. So you... This is for Crumbar. You dig away in, right? And you you get to Arya's body. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Oh, no. Yeah, as in Crumbar. Uh, right. So you get in, you get to everybody like half covered, unconscious, like like possibly like bleeding head or something. I don't know. Like it depends on how you want to describe a house landing on someone. And what do you do? I use a healing. Can I use a healing potion on her? Yeah, but we would need to do it next turn. It would need to go round. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I'll just I'll yeah. I'll just need to. There's nothing else I can really do, can I? You can try, like, with that roll, you could, like, just maybe try and drag her free if you wanted to, unless you don't want to move her. Is there any risk of injuring her? If I'm not going to make you roll to do it, so probably not. Right, yeah, no, <laughs> um, in, that in that case, what I'll probably just do is just kind of clear everything off her and just make sure that, like, you know, 
Yeah, like you try and like remove the weight yeah, from make, her instead of dragging make her. her make, make her comfortable, you know. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, Eric, con save. He's as brick as a pillow. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, nice. Um. Right. So this scene kind of happens roughly at the same time, right? Where as uh, Kitty struggles to like kind of free herself a bit, um, reach you. You can help pull Kitty out now. Because I realised that I'd already described that you'd, so you'd seen kind of where they, they were kind of KO'd, so perception check of a, a fail is irrelevant, really. So it was mostly you digging them free. So she kind of comes to, you maybe notice she comes to, so maybe you were still digging them out and digging Eric out, and you didn't realise that she was up and trying to like free her legs and shit. So yeah. you can obviously help pull her out um, completely, and we'll get to you in a second. Um, do you want to do the same for me? Uh, Callum and give me an athletics check now to get out unless you want to do something different. Um Yeah, I just I'll throw this out. Cool. Yeah, so you're struggling as well. Um so reach you can spot both of them and you can help like pull Kitty out first. Uh, Kitty, do you wanna give me another athletics to help free yourself as Reach is helping you? You can do it with advantage yeah. now. Yep, yeah. cool. So you you just tear out. Uh, Spring out. Hello, da da. <laughs> are ya? Superhero pose. <laughs> Fingers crossed they don't roll the natural one. Why would you even say it? Yeah. Is it now? 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. <laughs> just, if it's a natural 20, just shrugs the house off. <laughs> I live! <laughs> cool, you can mark Puny a success. Puny house, do you think <laughs> this would be enough? No, well, it's... It's, it's a success, success yeah, it's perfect. Also. So that's one success, one fail. Cool. And, right, reach. Uh, do you want to give Callum a hand? Or Eric a hand, yeah. sorry. Cool. Yeah. We have yeah. Juki Athletics. Uh, for me, yeah, good point. Do -do. Cool. Maybe maybe it was tiring trying to get them this clear, this, this yeah. quickly. And to be honest, you did just, like, flat out run to get here as yeah. well. So, yeah. Maybe you're still like, I'm built for short distances, <laughs> but very fast. Uh, not to play Jurassic Lord of the Rings too much. Uh, right, now if you wanted to do something crumbar action worthy, you can. Mm -hmm. uh, in that case, I am going to... I'm just looking through what items I have there now, just to make yeah, sure. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. what do so you have left over? I, do, I have one healing potion left, so I will use that. I was going to say, yeah, you've got no layer on hands left either, do you? No, that's... that's I'm like, damn it, because that's... Yep, so I'm going to use my last potion and kind of just nestle Arya's head and kind of sippy cupper it. Yeah. It to her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now you can do that. I do you want to roll the like what you heal her? Uh yeah. Yep. I'm on the button. There you go. Hey. Like I yeah, said. No, Does that no, mean no. I get to a total of two or is that, that No, mean you heal two? from zero, so you get seven. You're on seven. Awesome. Yep. The minus tracking is just to see what kills you outright. Thank you. <laughs> So if a wall was to fall on you or something like that, there might have been problems. That's what yeah. I'm worried about. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, but then his, nat, his nat 20 athletics was pretty bitching, so yeah. it was well-timed. <laughs> I take nice. it that my uh, I'm done for actions? Yeah, like you could speak to her or move her, but like she gonna, like coughs and comes to now. Um, yeah. I'll be coughing and be like, thank you. You can clear the yeah. death saves as well now, you don't need to track them anymore. What a hangover, eh? Feels like a house landed on your head. <laughs> <laughs> um, hair of the dog, hair of the staff, hair of the house. <laughs> yup. I think I'd just kind of, I'd, I'd just kind of prop her up. You could probably are drag her free a bit as well. I don't mean if you want yeah, to like, just, just drag again, her just, back a bit. Yeah, yeah. And just be like, are, are you, are you, like, how are you feeling? Are you comfortable? Are you okay? <laughs> are you kinda... comfortable? <laughs> yeah. It feels I mean, so redundant. Oh, a sofa well, must have dropped better. out. <laughs> yeah. Oh look, a handy this sofa. Is the reception area. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it was well it. received. <laughs> um, again, I think as well as after kind of, you know, I've just kind of torn through a bunch of rubble, so I'd just be like, I'd have like a kind of sit down as well for uh -huh. a wee minute. Yep. Um, and just catch my breath, but that, and just make sure Ari is okay, and I'll just end there. Yeah, that's fine. Um, 
Eric, uh, no idea. you're it's being like reaches manhandling you, trying to get you free. Do you want to give him a wee hand and roll some athletics with advantage? Or do something else. I assume that was fine. Cool, yep, you're still working your way three. Um, I'd say, like, yeah, you're probably, like, given how much you've been pulled out now, yeah, I'd say you're fine. So use her all out. Um, since nobody's dying, we don't need initiative anymore. In fact, let me Good do the thing where I can just get rid of this. Because, okay. Uh, is there anybody else in, likely to be in the estate? Just talk to, say that to uh, Eric. Yeah. I imagine my sisters and all the servants were in there. Right. Whereabouts, roughly, any idea? <laughs> Not a clue. I just pulled the house towards me, apparently. Yeah, so like at that point, like, does Eric like, come to and think, maybe I need to start climbing this to go on top yeah. of it to get into the house? Yeah. Um, so yeah, Eric, you start like heading up the significant landmass um, <laughs> to try and get into the estate. Um, <laughs> what does everybody else do? What's everybody else up to? Uh, well, now that I've kind of sat down and caught my breath a wee bit, I noticed while I was going through my bag, I still had... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm just gonna. I still had this wee bad boy. Right, okay. So I'ma shoot that in the air. Cool. Yeah. It's just a kind of. Yo. Cool. Do you wanna read out what it does? Because I think I gave you the description for it as well. Uh, that's what I'm just looking for. That. Oh, it has seven charges. Uh, this one has seven charges. You know, I'm just gonna do. Do that. Yeah. Uh, so, this one does seven charges while holding it. You can use an action to expend one of the charges and create a harmless burst of multicolored light at a point you can see up to 60 feet away. The burst of light, accompanied by crackling noise, heard up to 300 feet away. The light is as uh, bright as a torch flame, but lasts. Da -da 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 -da. The one regains 1d6 plus 1. Yeah, I don't. yeah, you don't really need that bit, do it, no. Nah, it's fine. We're good. Yeah. So, you can mark it's got 6 charges, but let's face it, by the time you're likely to ever use that again, it's probably going to be full. So Yeah. Yeah, so... so um, yeah, I basically just kind of shoot it directly above me. Yeah, and that flies up into the sky 60 feet and goes mm. boom, right? And then there's like a kind of... Um, it's not like the thunderous boom that Eric spells would do. It's more of a fireworks. As I said, yeah, like the proper crackling noise. Um, exactly, yeah, um, like a snare drum. It's, it, can I understand what it says? <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not infernal. Um, it's um, more of like a snare drum noise um, to to specify it for the the golden order. Reach, you probably like, don't even need to roll to like not only like recognize it. Yeah, exactly. Um, this was the stuff that you were issued with for the abyss, yeah. Um, as well, <laughs> about, about so it's time something. Is it? It's a signalling device. <laughs> it says in, in the fireworks in the sky, "Remember and help Gil," and then uh, <laughs> it fades. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that happens. It lights up. Maybe Arya, Kitty, and Eric don't know instinctively what it is. Um, because it's unlikely you've ever came across this before. But basically, a firework goes off in the sky. Shh, Golden Order signal. Yes. Yeah, and you know Crumbar has one, right? So yeah, yeah. yeah you can probably imagine he's at the far oh, side of this mind. estate. Yeah. But yeah. I... If... Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, show you anyway. To you, they can. Uh, I thought you were gonna say I'll, sh I'll, I'll shout to Crumbar. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I don't think you, I'll, I'll quite hear you, but good yeah. good luck. But uh, that's likely Crumbar. Uh, or is more golden order, but we could do with more people to search this rubble. Uh, I'll run round and speak to them and get them. Uh, right, because you want to try and like cover the grounds. Um, and actually, oh shit, no, okay. Right, so uh, let's see. Here we go. Right, I'm just going to share this in Discord, right? So I'm um, looking. Uh, just to see if this is gonna. So maybe not exactly right, but where is that? Uh... And don't you dare say the rain would have stayed. <laughs> it's 
it's it, <laughs> it, it was in glitter <laughs> um, but so something not too different to that so see that entire picture really I um, minus the in fact probably see because there's the outhouse way up at the back of it as well so yeah I'd say that entire picture is what's landed on top of these Minus the forest around Mills. No, yeah, like I'd say even there now in a way. Yeah, I'd say yeah. even with it, like a lot of the landmass came with it anyway. Yeah. Um, because see the little house way behind it as well. I'd say that came too. So, yeah, yeah anything that was considered the Rainwood Estate moved. Anything Eric would have considered the Rainwood Estate came here. Um, well, you tag, uh, tie it to Glitterhagen came. <laughs> you don't want that. Um, <laughs> a gift. This city. Um. But yeah, so that is like the equivalent of what you'd need to cross. So if you were at one side of that, you'd need to obviously like work your way around or over. Um, and it's not specifically stable, but there's an, a rough idea of what you're traversing instead of just the word yeah. significant in red text. If I had a couple of key points, it'd be very easy. Yeah. Um, so do you want to give us a... How do you want to do this? Do you want to do athletics to get there quickly or acrobatics to try and get over the top of it? What would you prefer? I would rather get over the top of it because cool. I've also got slow fall so I should yeah. manage big falls anyway so yeah right, so it would take a wee bit longer but yeah do you want to give me that, an acrobatics roll then um acrobatics okay. what do I oh right right at the top oh man cool. yep so maybe it's just like you, you try and get your footing and stuff but like parts of the ground's breaking up and stuff and it's not as a uh, stable is it maybe appears upon landing um but yeah once you get up on top of it as well like um eric do you want to give me a rule for how you're getting up athletics or acrobatics i'm not really i'm not fussed which one you want to use you can justify both really cool yeah so you're you're struggling to get up um but you will get up there eventually and yeah when you get to the top of it like the house is Parts of it, like the lower parts, seem like the walls are still kind of there, but like anything above the first floor kind of seems trashed and mostly now the first floor. Um, so yeah, it's like somebody took the house and pushed it down on it. Um, and parts of it are like broken off and fell to the side and yeah, it is it is bad. I guess it would be like if somebody made this as a model and then picked up the table and slammed the table down really hard. Um, <laughs> and like parts of the model break off depending on your super glue provider so yeah Kitty what are you up to as they all like like you see Eric trying to like clamber up the side of this like kind of well hill and Eric like starting to like sorry Eric struggling reach like nimbly pulling up what do you do uh, well I dust myself off first mm -hmm. um, taking what hurts <laughs> All. Um, <laughs> everything. I am one big ache. Mm -hmm. um, then I just sort of glance around, see who's here. Um, I mean, do we know Crumbar? And... No. <laughs> no. No, because remember, they ran, and then your instinct was to grab him and run, and then you teleported 90 feet yeah. away. So it was a case of you saw them start to run, you went, right, cool, us, let's go. Boom. Thunder is teleporting. And then a house landed on top of you and you went, okay, what's happening? Cool. Run, house. And then Reach pulled you out. Um, That's where you are. <laughs> I'd, I'd probably start like shouting for Crumbar and Aya. Like, hey guys, here you go. <laughs> um. <laughs> the Goonies Susas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's okay, then yeah. I'd probably just take off after um, Eric. Yeah, and clambering up, yeah. Yeah. Do you help Eric up as well? Yeah. You gonna go like, for acrobatics or I'll athletics? Um. <laughs> just, whenever you say like acrobatics in regards to climbing, I just imagine we're doing cartwheels or something. Yeah. I just, <laughs> well, I just imagine it's a bit more Legolas esque than a, you know, Aragon esque, right? So. Oh, I mean, you're a wood elf, so. I know. Just gracious. Oh go. my god, those acrobatics! <laughs> You're going to wire, yeah. bouncing all over the place. Yeah. It turns out you've, have, you've, you've never wheel. seen this martial arts in her before, but she just, like, you know, wire foo glides to the top. Yours is a <laughs> <of> came back <laughs> to you. Yep. <laughs> um, but no, so yeah, you... Like, on the way back, I'll sort of grab him. Hoik! <laughs> yeah, you, you help him up anyway, like, perfectly. That's, that, that's Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, yeah, easily, easily. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, yeah, so Eric, you you get to the top of this eventually as well with uh, Kitty's help. Um, she hoists you up. Um, as I said, once you get to the top of this, it is just like devastation. Um, like parts of cracks in the land, the stone gardens a mess. Um, the one thing that seems untouched is the topiary crumbar helped. Um, <laughs> don't know if that's maybe just due to the fact that like druid magic reinforces it, right? We don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah. Meanwhile, while well, you all get connected to the top and you see it reach off in the distance as he's like diving through all the broken garden in the house. What about Arya and Crumbar? I'm up to? probably a bit like Bambi like getting on my feet. <laughs> yeah. Because not every day a house lands on you. Yeah, I know. And, um. I don't know, trying to make my way towards the others. If they but you don't really know where they are, or... right? You oh just shit, yeah, so the fact that Crumbar put that thing in the air, that flare thing, probably helps us. So yeah, well it helps them right more than it helps so you. Just like, <laughs> yeah, they I'd know just where be to like yelling now. for them like, guys, is anybody alive? Mm -hmm. oh, come find us, look for the, was it red light? No, it's like golden. Golden, look for the golden light. We're yeah. just above it. Actually, it was not multicolored. Uh, this is golden. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, so, um, honestly, because all of us have shot a flare up in there, I'd kind of just be waiting because I'm like, you know, no point in shooting up a flare and then busting about. But I'd just kind of be, oh, so I wouldn't want to leave Aria by herself considering she's just been absolutely decimated by a house. Yeah. So, um, I'd just, what? You know what I'm, I'd actually do? You know what? House has crashed, dusty environment. Uh, I'll pull up my wee, my wee jug and uh, I'll make it up some fresh water and uh, pass that to Aria. Okay. I'm trying to think back if at the camp you'd used it for beer. No. Oh, yes, yeah, shit, I had. So it's beer, right? Right, okay. In that case, I will just pass her a water jug. Yeah, water skin. skin. Sure. So I'll mark one down. Sure. Yeah. Cool. So it gives you a water skin. Feel free to add that to your inventory. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, while you're doing that though, like, because they've had a couple of actions to like clamber up and start working their way towards like where the flare goes off. Do you do anything else? Um, or are you just happy to stay no, put? No, I think we'll be staying put for them to find us. Yeah. Cool. Um, in that case, then yeah, we can kind of just skip to the part where. We decide if Eric goes to the flare, like or the site of the flare, or if he heads to the house. I head to the house. Yeah, I figured as much as that. Uh, what about Reach? I know that you're probably slightly ahead of him, so are you heading yeah. to the flare or the house? The flare. Cool. Um, fine. So yeah. We'll go. Yeah, that's fine. Right. So we'll put pop you over that when he can be like right. towards the uh, the house, as it were, and Kitty's somewhere in the middle. And she'll let us know where she went when she comes back from cleaning the drain. So we have. I'll follow Eric, oh, help him with his family. Yep, cool. So, yeah, I think we'll start there because you probably get to the house before Reach gets to them. So, yeah, you just get there at like the big doors into the main house um, are still intact, even if the framework around it isn't. Um, so they're kind of still standing and. Yeah, it's all kind of like broken bits of wall are still there. Um, so yeah, you can you can work your way in. You probably like climb over walls and shit to get through it, unless you want to try and open the doors. I mean, I probably would be climbing over the doors, probably um, not that useful to open, but at the same time I'd be shouting for Libby and uh, Madeline. Mm -hmm, yeah. Um, do you want to roll... Both of you, if you are helping, I guess, like, do you want to just do somebody want to roll perception with advantage? Probably Eric rolling with advantage. Cool, yep. So you start, like, pouring into, like, the whatever the reception area as you walk in from the garden, I guess. Because um, I imagine this is the back of the house. And you head in, and yeah, you are in that reception area obviously there's parts of the upstairs have now become downstairs permanently and 
yeah, <laughs> pour through all of that. You make it to like servants' quarters that would obviously be attending things like the the doors and such, um, and in general like the housekeeping and such. You get there and there is no sign of any of the the servants there other than like it's a trashed room now, if that makes sense. Uh, but there's n like you don't find anybody crushed by anything or anything like that. Okay, what do you both do? I look for my sisters. Yep. I try to like push through further into the house. Yeah. Yeah, give me some athletics to see how you dig it out. It's pretty difficult. Keep in mind it's like pitch black as well, buddy. Oh, it's nearly in that 20. Cool. And what are you doing about light? Let me see. I will dark with you myself. Cool. Cool. Yeah. And I'll assume that they've been there from when you climbed up the, the estate, yeah. so you could have worked your way there. That makes sense. And the flare would have given you some light to have got to the house anyway, so. I think once you get in, the flare dies out. Yeah, you're kind of like, okay, I need this. So yeah, you start pouring through again, uh, and we'll come back to you in a second. Reach, you think by the time like he's started to say, go into the house and stuff, you can obviously get to the edging of the banking, and like you can see like where the land's falling up, like falling down into the rest of the forest, and trees are like falling off the the sides of it, like at the edge of the estate grounds. Um, and yeah, you look down and you can spot obviously Arya propped up and Crumbar kind of like sitting over, her, like. As like she's like drinking from a water skin, it's probably like I don't know, fifty feet up, 50, maybe sixty feet up, really. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, just shout out is uh, the other two are okay, but we're searching for any more survivors. Uh, we don't know what's happened to Eric's sisters or the servants. Uh, I'll just look at them and just say, so no one's be isn't no one's been found it yet. I mean, really, uh, he doesn't know because he ran straight here. Yeah, I came straight here once. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, uh, like, you know, you might have yeah. seen somebody in your travels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, I'll answer it, yeah. Uh, I came straight here after checking Eric and Kitlith are okay. Uh. I just kind of, as he said that, I kind of look, look at the kind of look at the general area of the estate and kind of just look up at the sky and then look back at Reach and go, do you think there will be any? Well, you all survived. You never know. Uh, we need to check. We need to search. Uh. Yeah. Um. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yes, this is exactly what Crumbar is communicating. Um, <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> the, the rude sandstorm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you search once Ari is. Uh, say uh, Arias feels Got capable. Again. Yeah, yeah, once Arias yes, basically. We'll help. So yeah, you, are, you, are you fine to help? Yeah, they like shakingly getting up and they like, let's go, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I think as you're getting up, I'd kind of, you know, be like, here's a hand. Up you get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, all three of us then head back in. Yeah. Cool. You still need to climb, so do you want to give me some some acrobatics or athletics, depending on what you're up to? Sure. Who's this? Sorry. Both of you to get up. Up yeah. where? Oh, what? Just stand up or just to get up, up into yeah. the estate? Yeah. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. athletics or what? Sorry. Acrobatics, either or. Don't go hard. Um. I'll go with athletics because that makes more sense. Right. <laughs> exactly half. Right. A little bit more uh, convo. Uh, Arya, can you turn into something that might be able to sense life or uh, people? Uh, have you got that ability? I may already be ahead of you. I was looking through the book already. <laughs> <laughs> So nothing really has a sense life move that she well, well, yeah, but if dog, it's something that can sniff and whatever. Aye, I suppose, yeah. I mean, 
mean, hey, there might be good. Yeah. But I'm just trying to figure out. If... Some things will have bonuses to perceptions for that. One hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to to figure out what I can transform into at level five and what well, I would choose. What is your CR rating that you can go to? Your challenge rating? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Then your druid stuff. Yeah, so Crumber, you're probably just a bit knackered after having dealt with the pulling out of um, yeah. Arya and whatnot and trying to get ready. Um, like, also not only that though, but like the whole event since the like getting here, right? The camp, the chieftain, the tribe, the weight of that, the house, the Kana, like it's kind of been all go, right? It really has been. <laughs> and uh, there's like, reach. Maybe you noticed this um, for the first time as well, since this is you kind of joining up with every day for the first time since it's happened. But there is like a dent of a handprint in his like right just above his. Uh, What's it called again? What's the bone right in the middle of your ribcage called? That sternum. That yeah, that's the sternum, one. Like, yeah. like right just above that part of the, the armour, there's like a dent as if someone's like, you know, just pressed their hand right into it. Maybe you spot that oh. when he's helping you up. That's what I think, yeah. Somebody getting a bit handsy with you? Oh. I just, I just uh, kind of snap at reach and I'm like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That kind of way is like I don't want to admit that I somebody has a dented this armor and uh -huh. b fucked me through a tree. So at this point, does Reach ask about Decana since she is nowhere to be seen? And I don't know about her. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, I would want to say something. Is Decana safe? Is anyone safe that gets hit by a bolt of lightning? <laughs> I, I like. I think, I, so yeah, I've, I've, so I've kind of portrayed that tone stop. wrong. It's so, meant to be a bit more jokingly. Yeah, so she hot with lightning as well as the house. Yeah, so Reach, you can think back now to the part where you saw the bolt of lightning hit in the woods first before everybody ran off to investigate that. You stayed in the right. camp and then. Because keep in mind, the red rope man used lightning and stuff as well, so the theory was maybe that's a problem, you know. Um, but. Really, it was the kind of leaving, but you would have seen a strike of lightning in a clear sky, and then eventually, after a while of them running to find them, a house appears in you, and fuck, I best go as well. Um, so that's what you know. Um, so him saying, "Does anyone, you know, is anyone okay that gets hit with lightning?" And obviously, that probably doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine it would. Also, do we have that answer yet, Arya? Yeah, I was just waiting for you guys. Um, so, where I, you, you probably hear me murmur a couple of things, you know, focus, you know, close my eyes, that sort of thing. And then next thing you know, where I stood, there's um, there's gonna be a panther that um, Bam, girl. Then, uh, starts going around to start smelling for, you know. So we're probably walking around with a, a, a the nose, you know, close to the rubble, trying to see if. <laughs> anything from underneath it, you know? Did you learn what your your challenge rating was? Yeah, so because it's for it's one stroke two for level four and then it goes to one at level eight, so I'm guessing I'm still at one stroke two. And exactly. the Panther is one stroke four, which Perfect. is less than one stroke two, so that covers it. I exactly. Think. Yep. Spot one. Cool. That also means that I temporarily have a bit more health than I, I do, right? But it doesn't matter, because hopefully that's not gonna... But yeah, so I'm, I'm being a panther for now. Rawr. Yes, and uh, that means that I have advantage on wisdom checks that rely on smell. So hopefully that covers it. Should help it anyway. Uh, Boom. Guess you're smelling for perfume. There is your panther. Yeah, cool. Wanna make it big? No, that's it. Where I mean, it? just <laughs> click on it, zoom it. So, it can... <laughs> so we can see the art. Uh, yeah. Art of the panther. Why is it not limited? There we go. 
Dun 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 dun. Cool. Meow. Uh, <laughs> nice. I think I, I think as this happens as well, me and Reach are just like. So the other thing, the other <laughs> thing. I've not seen that before. Uh, you will now struggle to see. That's fine. Cause me? No, she will. Cause it's, she doesn't have dark vision as a no panther. Dark vision. Yeah. Oh, oh right. So okay. I thought you're. I thought you were meaning. Uh, for some reason, I thought you said yous will now struggle to see. Like, no, no. Wait. Just Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, the panthers don't have a. That's really weird. Cause I thought panthers yeah, no. were nocturnal animals. I know. Me too. Also, they're cats, so they'll have the whole. Um... Nope. Not according to D and D. D and D. Underrated cats. <laughs> It's obviously a bad magic panther, right? Um, you should really control the panther now, though, Adri. Cool! Um, I'm sure at some point I made a folder for druid forms, but I don't know where I've put that, so that's fine. It's fine, don't worry. I, I have the stats in front of me, so... It's okay. As I say, they've got the character like, sheet and whatnot. If you double-click the token, you'll, you'll have it. Ah, cool! Yeah. It's done. It's done. Uh, Druid forms there is where I had it. Good. I'll dump Panther into that. Cool. So that's probably the first time. How does your shapeshifting yeah. look to other people then? Because like, remember, everything melds into the form with you, so. Is there like any so, kind of fancy special effects? Yeah, I'd imagine some sort of like purple, purple glow enveloping me, and it's kind of like a bit too bright and then you makes people kind of like blink and then when you blink and it's faded it's, it's not a person there anymore it's just a panther mm -hmm. of course it had to be purple you know me yeah of course right here yeah so you're not a panther and you can't see but that's fine it's fine i'm here to smell things not see them <laughs> So you guys see her become I'm a panther. I'm probably already making a face, you know, around these two, but anyway. Yep, yep. And yeah, she's a panther now. Just head back in. Can, can she so speak, Carmen? No. Nah, she can't speak at all. But I can still, like, move my head kind of like, come on, let's go mm. already, right? You can make noises if you find someone. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I don't plan on making noises. I plan on doing like in uh, you know cartoons where you have a uh, a hunting dog pointing. and when it finds something, it just stops with like one foot in the air, kind of pointing at the thing Point. it's found. Mm -hmm. That's what I plan. What Timmy's lost in the wheel? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I had in my head as well, Stu. So <laughs> Timmy, Timmy's in the well. <laughs> you pushed him in. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. So use navigate this panther back to the estate then after some time can the other people in the estate give me some I guess athletics checks yeah to kind of keep digging through are they arriving with Arya as a panther yes but th that won't happen until you have had a chance to do more well I'm not doing much here am I no but tell us why is that why is it like difficult for you to do this uh, well I'm probably bleeding with a load of cuts all over me after the estate landed on me, I imagine. And I'm just probably exhausted from just having to strip up whatever the side of the uh, estate was. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, also, possibly losing hope that he, he can see his sisters. Mm -hmm. Well, I can, should I say. What about Kitty? You with us? Maybe. She might still be scrubbing. Potentially. Also, I found stuff that just makes me think of a. Uh, this will obviously be the druid magic right there. <laughs> Poof. I'm still on the train clean, and it's a double. So, um, what There's was the, the question? Uh, it was just to say, um, do you want to give us a? I can I can roll it if you're not near your computer as well. Yeah, I, I I'm not near it. That's I'm fine. Yeah, I can roll it. It's just athletics to help him dig more. Uh, yeah. yeah. See. Boom. Cool. Uh, yeah, so you start to dig more. Yeah, like you're you're working th like you're trying to like clear bits of the house and stuff, and no, like you're you're not finding anyone. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. And then probably by the time you're like 
pulling apart maybe the way into the kitchen, maybe. Um, yeah. Use C, well, maybe maybe you see more than Eric does, because Eric's maybe a bit like lost in his thoughts at the moment. But yeah, you mm. see a Reach, Crumbar, and a Panther up here. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yup. We made a friend! Yay! Friends! <laughs> Also, Arya, I figured you were going to be okay with those gifts of uh, druidness. <laughs> yeah, I, I was not thinking of Regina when I but imagined it works, that, it? but it does work. Yes, I, very well. <laughs> I just love the fireball one as well, given the last couple of seconds. Yeah, yeah it's good. <laughs> I'm a druid, honestly. <laughs> 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 so good. Um, right, yeah, so here's all like arrived. They've, you can see that they've been like trying to clear out like one of the collapsed corridors into the house. Um, imagine like the the front, like the, the back doors, obviously into the the main reception. But like half of the roof is all like missing um, and caved in. And you climb over that, and then it's like the rubble that blocks the corridors and stuff and staircases. Um, what do you guys do? As as we arrive, right when we come to a stop, I'll just like stop and like raise one paw, kind of like waving, but obviously not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, kind of like, you know the Chinese good luck welcome in, cats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What I love though is, she still can't see anything. Like, I love that, because it's like... Yeah, black. but I smelled them. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's just a... That's I find that really like, yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that burnt smell. <laughs> he zapped himself again. I can see her. That'd just be like, yep. oh, what the hell is a panther? Oh, oh, waving? Arya, yeah, yes. Arya's <laughs> changed to try and help. <laughs> like, I would have turned around and seen the panther, <laughs> read it, uh, spell, and realised it's waving, like, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Crumbar, how long does your shield last for? I want to say, I'm just going to scroll up and check. At least one turn more than what he's At been least one. one uh, ten minutes. <laughs> ten minutes. How long has it been? It's probably been ten minutes by now. So probably even before you launched the flare, it was gone. Just so you know. Yeah. Um, just as I mean, recovery. to be honest, after the house kind of dropped, I think that would kind of broken concentration. No, because you, know, you, so. no, you you got a nat twenty. Oh yeah, your, that's right. Right. Yeah. So like. I wasn't going to make you roll again to do a and now you have to concentrate to make just bit. I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> um, considering how much you've... Probably, well, to be honest, the only reason I had it on was because of the falling house, so I mm. probably would have cancelled it after that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, well, that worked, because, I mean, to you, that did work, right? Mm -hmm. Your shield protected you from a falling house, quite frankly. Um, or at least that's the logical steps of d deduction mm. there. I mean, it makes it makes sense. Like yeah. as well as how I got twenty. I anyway, just yeah. I just hate when the next house falls on top of you and you use that spell and you get like Me, you fail. I don't even have... <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> like, the next house. The shield protects a bit of the last falling house. Why didn't they work this time? Because um, this one's made of wood. The other one will be made of. This like, is not made of wood. This is a massive stone <laughs> estate. Like, All right. Well, the other one will be made of like arcanic, penetrating shield of faith armor. Well, okay. House. Yeah, sure. That. Yeah. Cool. Canon. Um. Right, uh, we have our panther in the dark, so do you want to give me some, some smelling rolls then if you want to try and smell for people? <laughs> smelling rolls? Yeah, it's just perception, <laughs> but with advantage because she's a panther. It makes me so happy. Unless I, Audrey's just not doing it. Oh, sorry. I kept reading. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. yes. I was reading on the panther, funnily enough. Alright, cool. So open the panther sheet. Yep, yep. And perception, perception, perception. Remember, it says advantage. Cool. So you got a 14. Boop, boop. Good, good. Right. So. You start like sniffing around. Um, obviously, like you kind of like bump into things as you go because, again, it's... yeah, can't see shit. Yeah. Um... Can I light a torch, by the way? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, because you probably see me bumping into shit and realize. <laughs> yeah, so like you light a torch, everyone's black and white, and slowly light. starts to have a color flood back into it within the range of the torch. Um, and yeah, you. I 
kind of turned my head towards you and kind of like nodded thanks just saying and then uh, yeah like you sniff around wow. but no like you you can smell that people were here right lived here yeah like there is the smell of people but you can't smell anything strong yeah, but yeah, we're on the corridor, so we'll probably try to make our way towards some of the rooms, maybe. Yeah. Oh, you wouldn't tell us you don't. Right, yeah, you can't speak. Kate, we are following you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's follow the panther. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm still thinking of my I would not follow the panther. So I have thought more than likely you brought the house and not the people, which means whoever's on the top floor. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. One guy goes to the attic for the first time in ages. House. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fetch that portrait from the attic. That was a nice portrait. Let's hang that up here. Do, do, do. Where did the house go? Oh my god. <laughs> Surfs the portrait down the air. Um, it looks most, a nice big one. It looks so badass for those few seconds of his life. Um, 20 foot wide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the portrait would ironically be a crashed house or something. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, so you you search for a bit, right? You spend some time, like I mean, keep in mind, like, you probably do need to take like at least an hour doing this shit, right? Trying to clear out the place, um, yeah, realistically, and yeah, do you want to give me another perception check as your panther? Mm-hmm. Also, I think your wild shape has a time limit, right? So do you know, roll perception and then let me know what your time limit is on your wild shape. I think you have something on the realm of hours, but I'll check again. Cool. Remember, on that sheet you can toggle advantage as well, by the way. At the top of it. Mm. You've got public, GM, advantage, disadvantage, blah blah blah. Got all those settings at the top of the panther sheet too. Oh, I didn't realize I had advantage there as well. It's okay, no, okay. it's okay. Just a bit easier for you. Um, but yeah, no, you're not, you're not finding anything. Like you're... Like you'll sniff at a place, you'll shake your head a bit, you'll go to like another part, you'll sniff again, you'll shake your head a bit as you work on it and reach is obviously following you with the, the torch and such and everybody else is digging bits of the around. Um Eric, for the hour, what have you been doing out of interest? Like how how has that been? Because I feel like if you were stuck in the one spot, people would have interacted with you, but I wanna get you to describe it. I stay in this shape a number of hours equal to have my druid level that rounded down so I can be here two hours. Cool, yeah, cool. I've been uh, frantically digging, like ignoring mm -hmm. if people are like trying to speak to me and just digging. Yeah, and like who notices that first? Because keep in mind, like you, there's a lot of waiting for the panther to smell out stuff. So uh, I think it's maybe like Kitty or Crumbar that notices Eric being zoned out. Um. Oh my god, guys! I just found a tenant down the side of the sea. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. You've been taken in real life. <laughs> oh, wait, I thought... <laughs> right, I th uh, I I'm confused. Are you stick in. on the Scott? Stick in the game. Yep. Right. Um... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually fixing that cat. Let's make up with the tail. Christmas bonus. Ten gold in the pocket. <laughs> um, so I like the female. Um, I think it's very got... roguish. <laughs> I think just... Rogue IRL. <laughs> I think I just go up to Eric and be like, "What were you thinking?" Actually, that's actually a really good idea for a serious question. <laughs> what were you thinking? House or what? Or uh... like quite, like quite literally, what were you thinking? <laughs> Eric, I give no response. I'm still digging. Yeah. I'll just kind of, you know, like not grab him by the shoulder, like like kind of go up and just be like hand on shoulder, be like Eric. I I turn and like in my hands, but like the it looks like lightning. I'm like, don't touch me. I kind of like. Be angry. Can He's I covered just... in gold. He's uh, what you call a Faraday cage. He's not careful. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just kind of like on saying that, like hand off shoulder, but kind of just keep an eye contact and just be like, "Are you okay?" I go back to the weekend. 
No. And then I'll just spell out, right. where do you want us to search? I'm still digging. Uh, hmm. How do I want to play this? Just dig next to him. I think I just kind of blow it off and go back to Aria. And just be like, you know, like, kind of like. You mean Pantharia? Yes. <laughs> um, you were sitting on that one, Ryan, weren't you? Uh, <laughs> I was just waiting on a Thundercats post there. Right? Um, yep. Oh, sorry. It's okay. With 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 the confusion of talking to a panther, or just like, can you find anything? Or can you find anyone? Mostly the panther has been looking at places, sniffing and shaking its head and moving and sniffing. Yeah. For like an hour. I so I'll just kind of... Yeah. yeah. I would, I get, I would just kind of keep following Pantharia, yep. I guess. Yeah. And then as she's like... You just kind of like dig in further, right? Um, you just can go the kitchen way that Eric's kind of going or you just go like triangle like up the stairs. But when you go up the stairs, you would have to like... Take away a lot of the rubble that is the upstairs collapsed into I'm, the downstairs. I'm going to suggest we go Bear with me. First. Bear with me. Sorry. So you'd go upstairs only to like get over the hump into more rubble to go back into the house, if that makes sense, towards the front of it. Because um, it's all kind of collapsed down on itself. So you, there isn't really much of upstairs left that's like traversable. You'd need to kind of go up, unclear stuff to kind of dig back in behind this part of the house. Um, let me see if I can draw more. So, like, probably got two strong characters yeah. for that already. Like, Crumper yeah. and Panther's probably quite strong. Kitchen oh. that way, and then like staircase, and then back of the house. So you just to try and like clear up to jump down, or try and go I'd, through a kitchen. I'd probably suggest that we go up, try and go up the stairs. Yeah. Aka hey, hey, just get away from angry Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Much there. Sure. Um, so if me and Aria want to run away upstairs, well, like basically four of you are that side. Oh so, right, okay, oh, four yeah. of us. Well, yeah. Right, I'll right. just say I'll just say that to Kitty and Reach. I'll just be like, me and the cat will go up the stairs. So I love the idea that Crumbar is putting a checkpoint in his head for later going to. Party members or cats. Yeah, no, literally, I, I, that, is, that is just, I'm like, <laughs> is everyone a cat? And I'm like, am I a cat? <laughs> <laughs> How do we cat? Mm -hmm. so this magic I've not yet learned. Actually, no, you get Eric, who is Thunder, those two who are cats, so we do have Thunder cats so thunder far. Cats. Yeah. 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 Oh, We're doing God. okay so far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but yeah, you just so, had to go there, didn't you? <laughs> wait, if you if we if we find Mumra, I'm gonna be. Oh my! No wait, we have Mumra, the guy in the red suit. He turned into Mumra. Mm -hmm. all right, it's all coming together, guys. Oh. Maybe we know where he gets his inspiration from. Yep. <laughs> We're on episode 14 just now of Thundercats. So just so you know, when that episode when the, the base landed on them. Um, right. So, what's happening? We've got team going up the stairs and digging more. Yeah. Right. Okay. Is Arya still shaking her head now and again, just and going yeah, on to like, expect anything? No. This is the point yeah. where you've managed to excavate enough to move again. Thank as I said, you. you can have dedicated an hour to helping Eric, or dedicated an hour to like digging up the stairs to get Hello. to the back of the house. So I'm gonna Sarah. mute. Not yet. <laughs> as well, just for now. Um, um, there we go. Sorry. I'll mute her just for now. Um, while we're there, so you can. Dedicate to either way. You said you just wanted to try and excavate the stairs to go up and over um, to get to the back of the house and leave Eric to it for an hour. If that's the case, at the end of that hour, Arya, you need to decide if you're going to expend another use of wild shape or if you're going to yeah. just shift back. Yeah, I probably will. Yep, cool. So mark off another use of wild shape on your sheet. I think you should have a tracker somewhere. I've not marked the first one, but I've not used it before, so I don't even know where it would be. Yeah. Like my door right usually is it? Or... Never played a druid, so don't know. But I presume it's in the no. resources. I 
I'll just put it here. Yeah. So, it should be something on your sheet. Uh, let me find your sheet again. It should be a thing. You'd think it'd be resources on your right, wouldn't you? Where, like where my key is. But it is. It is. Right, cool. Huh? It is on your resources. Middle right. Yeah. Far right of the... And then in the middle. Like under my... Next to your Little... Arms. Bonds and flaws and such. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's that's where I was trying to... Oh, it is there. Okay, never mind. I was trying to add it. No, it's oh. already there. You can mark off fine, it's fine. those two uses and if you're going to use the other uses. Yeah, I have. Cool. Sure. Okay. Right. So, with that then, you do you want to roll perception again for me? With advantage? With yeah. your Pantaria? Java just can in now. I'll see how that goes. This doesn't really like me. It's because you're rowing rubbish tonight. Yep. <laughs> no, yeah, that's, that's definitely it. Yeah. So, again, you smell, you, you get in, you just kind of like clamber in, the panther sneaks away and slinks away in underneath the rubble. Um, like, Crumbar's probably holding it up along with like Kitty, which heads in probably next, and you just like make your way into that part of the the house. Let me just move everybody back so everybody just wants to like jump into the, the next zone as it were. Richard O'Brien follows suit with his harmonica as well. And then um, <laughs> yeah, so you just clamber in there. Um, are you like you smell around again? Yep, there is nothing. You can't mm -hmm. nothing beyond the distinct smell that people were here. Yeah, fair enough. Um, Eric, what are you up to? It's been like another hour now, so it's been two hours you've been like digging away. I'm still digging. Yeah, I was gonna say you're probably like somewhat somewhat into the mess by that. Yeah. And you're alone. Like what is like what's going through Eric's head right now? I have to find him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and I think um yeah, you start digging away and digging away. Um but there's like again, no sign of anything. How long does your dark vision last for? Eight hours. Eight hours. Yeah. So you're good. You're good for now. Um, right. What do you guys do now that you're on like the kind of slightly uh, more? It's not as so much clear, but it's less collapsed in, in itself. This is almost like the kind of structural point that everything would have collapsed above, and it's created like a cavern. I mean, I want to go talk to Eric. So I don't go back. Yep, cool. So hey, you can head all the way back then. Before they start their wee combo, mm -hmm. see when we're at the Rainwood, you know, the original Rainwood estate, not this new location. <laughs> yeah. Um, how many servants and stuff, like general people, did we notice around the gaff? Yeah, that was an interesting question. It just depends if uh, Crumbar would have really taken that in, because I don't think at any point you said you were paying much attention to them. I probably know if the one's bringing food in the room. Yeah, but I mean, is there any way I could could have roll insight to see? No, like you would know it's at least four or five people at least because like, the two sisters mm. plus one or two. Like seven. yeah, beyond the two sisters, there would have been people that were like wandering the halls, doing things like keeping the rooms tidy. There were yeah, like people at the door. There were people in the kitchen. Like yeah, yeah. So what what like, what? Like, it really could have been the thing is though as well. Depending on how much attention you paid to them, they could have been the same people. You don't know. Mm -hmm. You didn't pay attention at the time. Because I mean, so far we've searched quite a wee bit, haven't we? Yeah, you've you've searched it like I'd yeah. say about a we, third we, of like right what's okay, left yeah. of so, the house. <laughs> so we, I reckon we would have found someone by now. So some bits of someone, or, or or you know some parts of something, or you know. So I'll I would say, that given the amount of people you've seen, that stands to reason that you maybe should have found someone by now, unless yeah. when it happened, they all ran to the one place, right? Um, yeah. I'll leave that dialogue for. I'll let since I'll let Reach have his dialogue with Eric. Then I. Right. 
let's all run to the safe room that we always go to when the house drops on a yeah. forest somewhere. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, I'm just yeah. <laughs> picturing that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all the time, we're a magic family. Yeah. <laughs> we'll this build a better bloody time. house. <laughs> Again? <laughs> a lighter house. <laughs> yeah. So back to Eric. Yeah, tough conversation. Right, okay. Eric, what exactly were you thinking when you swung your hammer? Was it just the house, or were you thinking of the people in the house? Oh. Eric's paying no attention. He's just muttering to himself and trying to dig as fast as he can. Okay. If you were thinking of just the house, then the people will still be in Glitterhagen, in which case we are searching in the wrong place for them. Yeah, so like, is there something Eric, like Eric can hear that would snap him out of it, or is there something that Reach would need to roll to breach like the the defences, right? Because, yeah, like Callum, you tell me that for Eric, right? So is there something Reach could say that would snap you out of your focus, or does he need to roll something against a number? Um, I'd say you'd have to hit him to snap him out, because at the minute he's like, focused on trying to find... Right. Any of his family. Right. First of all, grab you by your shoulders and I'm going to intimidation bollocks. Did you think of the people or just the house? Oh. That's not enough, is it, though, probably? It just depends. Um, it really just depends on Eric's focus, really, doesn't it? Like, uh, what, like, what would I roll against that? I don't know. Like, it's not really so much a roll against it, though. It's um, just if you think... As we, a 10 would be an easy check, right? A 10 is passing an easy check, so do you think it would be easy to get his attention? I'd, I'd say based on the fact that you've searched for two hours with nothing. I'd say he's got uh, a, uh, Eric's attention. He doesn't turn around, he's still digging, he just goes, I thought of home. Home, home, right. Not, your, uh, not the people at home, just the home itself. In that case, they'll still be in Glitterhagen. I'd love to say safe in Glitterhagen, but I don't know, 40 feet up, it's probably not safe. I mean, if you're on the second story or third story, then uh, yeah, you're going to have a bad, bad time. Yeah, for a few seconds. Mm. Either they didn't come, or the can has already taken them. The can is not here, though. She's an enemy now. But we've been here all the time. We'd have noticed the canna. Oh. No, she went. She's disappeared. So I'll speak to Krumba. He was there when she disappeared. Could she have taken them out of the house when it was hovering over your head? I don't know. She could have taken them by the time me, uh, me and the party trying to get to Krumba. I don't know. I got here very quickly. Uh, it, and I had to spend time to dig out. Uh, who was it? Yourself and Kitlith. Uh, no way could anybody else have dug someone else out in uh, quicker. Uh, That's really I'm good. saying she took him from bef before I pulled the estate here. What, when they were still in Glarehagen? Yes. In that case, we're definitely looking in the wrong place. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Well, I don't think Arya's managed to find anybody, it's, it's, so it looks as though there's no living bodies being brought with the house, as, with the home. As, I at think this, we, should, we need to get back to Glare and see what's happened there. At this point, I stopped digging and I just start to walk back outside. Yeah, and I think as well, like, we've still got that kind of like blue glowing eyes, right, from Eric, um, all the cuts over him and stuff, and um, I think... Maybe it dawns on you as well, like as a group, like you still have forty five people like that you just need to like deal with yeah. or forty six technically, um if you include the paladin. So like you're still thing is, is air quote sorry. responsible for those. Um air quote. Oh, responsible. so we've just left them all alone, so you know, and they were quite antsy before, so Yeah. And you've been here for like at least what, two two and a half hours or something, right? Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh all in they've been on their own for about two and a half hours. So oh. Yeah. Right. Right. All right. We all get. We need to get back together. 
sort our plan out what we're going to do. But yeah, getting back to Glitterhagen's got to be at least a priority and a priority anyway. Mm -hmm. yes. So the other group then, Crumbar, Kitlith, and uh, Pantharia. Mm -hmm. Is there any? So is like is there any like chat in that? Well, reach goes back yeah. to Eric. So again, I I I would have just pointed out and like I'd just turn to the girls and be like, we should have found something, someone or something by now. I don't think anyone's here. No, like we've not even found limbs or things like that. It's literally nothing. The good news for the people left in Glitterhagen, we haven't even found clothes. So I was a bit worried <laughs> we were going to find clothes with no people. But anyway. I'm the only one from the family that does that. <laughs> 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 they all are addicted to your respects. <laughs> Um, I think I would, you know, at this point, I'd again just say to them, because remember, Crumbar is still absolute destroyed. The only thing that kind of kept me going was the fact that uh, not Zadreka gave me... Dekana. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I was seriously trying to think of her name there. Mm -hmm. um, the, the only thing that's kept me going is the fact that she gave me that super potion. Yep. Um, which, after being housed upon... I would say that the effects are kind of wearing off. Um, yeah. I would just say, I'm like, we still need to go get those horses. Does any... <laughs> yes, that is still the only Unless thing. Unless the house fell on them. I was going to say, there's a, a good chance either you were close enough, the house has become the horses, or the horses ran off because of the thunderous booms multiple times. Did we not tie them up? Yeah, you did, and you totally rolled to secure them perfect but let's face it they've been left for hours and hours so well we, we shall see how that goes i mean i'd still like to go look for them because they are kind of like a vital part are they really how are they going to solve your getting that many people away is it just going to like try and like cart well we need up? yeah yeah well, we, we needed yeah, them for the cart to use the, the cart yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god um Either way, let's go back in game and I'll just say we still need those horses and the camp is left unattended. What does what do you want to do? I can't because I can't go back to the camp alone. Yeah, so I think um Kitty, would you what's your response to that since it's you and a cat that are in that room? Um I hope they didn't just find some food and eat it. What are you on about? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll go with them. Like I'll go with you. Find some horses. A bit rubbly, but edible, yeah. Cool. What was that, Aria? A bit rubbly, but edible, right? <laughs> it's a bit dusty. Are you, you're staying as a panther, or are you switching back? Well... Seeing that we're not, I'm not finding anything, and we're heading back. I'll I'll start heading back, but I'll well, just stay in Panda for a little honest, while. To be honest, the the discussion there was Kitty and Crumbar are going to go look for horses and not go back to the camp. Oh, I thought some of us were returning to camp. I mean, you're in a room with those two. That's it, as a panther. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they have yeah. the right, So they don't have. The I right, mean. No. I mean, Sunday probably like Reach probably left the torch for you, right? That makes sense, because he doesn't yeah. need the torch to see you do. So probably Kitty's holding it, just yeah. so she can actually okay. like still see in this room. That makes sense. <laughs> Fine. In that case, I'll just turn back. I was thinking of staying Panther just in case there's any mm. danger on the way. But I mean, you'd probably have to turn back to add, like be a part of the conversation as well. So and you can understand what you're saying. Just or sure this going to be like. Yeah, but to actually give a response. Mm -hmm. Since, you know, I've asked the question of both of them. Yeah, so we'll, we'll shift you back, shall we? Well, that's, that's not I could I always do, just yeah. shake my head no at something and then shake my head yes at something else, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll return to human, puny human with a mirror not human. of seven health. 
Well, half elf. Half elf. So. <laughs> Human eyes. Yeah. Well, so you just head back yeah, through to the the way out that you've got. Um, so me and yeah, what did what did just reach in a uh, Eric do? Yeah, I stormed off outside. Okay, Came outside the estate. Yeah, so like we can just narratively everybody can be, I guess, outside, and we're also moving chunks of the building with us apparently. <laughs> That's fine. There's so much crap all over the gap. As well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll do. There we are. Bonjour. Sorry about that. Okay. Most of you are going robot. Um, it might be me. I was literally like, who else can possibly join this channel? <laughs> I know. I'm like, <laughs> nobody. Uh, but yeah, who was so, the so other I'm... guy that was meant to join us at the start? Actually, it'd be funny if you just showed up. No, hey guys, a... what did I miss? No, he's no longer Cody to tell you they'll join the channel. He's still on oh, the right. server, but he's not on the channel list, um, the whitelist. But oh, so hello, Andrew, if you're listening. Um, what, what a time to join as well. I know. Hello, wow. guys. House. <laughs> Anyway, you are outside. Oh my god! <laughs> one um, did come with the house. Yeah. With him still being level one? Mm -hmm. That'd be horrible. So, yeah, uh, I guess I would just say to... Uh, I mean, we'd walk down the stairs, probably bump in to reach an Eric, and I'd just say to him, me and Kitty are going to go look for the horses. Well, um, but remember, the camp is unattended. Someone should go back. Yeah, at least, at least one of us should go back. At least... Uh, I'll definitely go back to the camp. Oh. I mean, I definitely recommend you go back, as there is another member of the Golden Order there. So, you could maybe get a bit more of an explanation. Yeah. Yep. I'll, I'll give you this much too as well, something that you'd have picked up on perhaps. Um, I offered Kitty, who was sat next to him near the fire, who dragged him over to the fire, uh, an opportunity to kind of look him over if she wanted, and she said no. She was fine. So, that was... Did I? Yeah. Right. A guy has more than likely got loads of gold on it, and you said, nah, it's okay. Are you feeling well? <laughs> Maybe our thoughts I mean, were, if he wakes up, it's his gold. I have <laughs> a feeling we're going to go back, and they're all going to run away with all the loot. Salvage is right, so I'm quite right in place here. Yeah. Get back, and the, 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 the chieftain and the orcs never just respawned. <laughs> <laughs> the instance is reset. <laughs> anyway, so... The plan is to split up, is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anybody else going back to the camp? Well, there we go. Here, why don't we decide to pick what we are going? So, right. like, horses is the I'll party the and camp. reaches the camp. So, right. so that is. Oh, that's the wrong button. Yeah, I want this one. So, camp, horses, horses. Hey, what about you, Eric? Okay. I just slump down next to the estate and go, I'm not leaving. So you, the right. groups all agree, everybody parts ways, and the shot's just the, the five of you in the middle, and then two go off one side, two go off the other side and stop, turn around, and Eric's just slumped in the middle against maybe the doors of the estate that are still in place. Well, I'm planning going back to see if your sisters are okay. See you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Yeah, does Eric respond to that or? No, he's just kind of looking at the floor. He's a very depressed look on his face. The floor looks I'd be back hoping at you. that trade deal is going to work out quite well for you at the moment. But, uh... Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, so what about everybody else then? So you see your, your sorcerer set slumped. Uh... Nope, nothing. For nobody? You know nope. Nothing at the moment. No. You could do a wee bit of hit points. Right. Pretty well for the party. Mm -hmm. So. Sorry, I muted myself. I was <laughs> going, sorry. I was going to say, we could obviously go find some horses, and if not, then we'll obviously walk past Eric on the way back, mm -hmm. and we'll just drag him with us. You should to... be able to find this steak easily, I would reckon. <laughs> Keep in mind, the estate's on a hill that's landed as well, so you need to like, climb up. The horses probably can't climb up. These aren't Skyrim horses, sadly. Yeah. Um, Not so, Darum horses. I mean, was Eric just outside the estate, just still he's got, looking he's, for he just, stuff? He's or? just leaning against the, do the doors, sat on his ass. I mean, maybe he needs some time to himself. I would say so at the moment. Yeah. He knows where we're. He knows his way back to the place. So. Yeah. 
I mean, also, I'm like, I don't have time to play babysitter. We need horses, so. Yeah. Right, so if that's the case, then it does Crumber and Kitty want to go off and give me you know, athletics and perception again? And you can, you can do athletics individually, but perception can be done with advantage if somebody wants to take the lead on that. Uh, what's perception? Wisdom? Uh, A, what's your wisdom? Uh, zero. Alright, yeah, so oh, it's 11, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, but there's no uh, modifier. Yeah, no yep. yeah, neither is mine, so it doesn't really matter. Who do. do you want to do the perception with advantage then? No, just do athletics for now. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, it makes I sense. Mean, make, it makes, makes sense. sense. Crumbar is knackered. Oh. I mean, stop cruel, and cr cruel abusement against Crumbar, that's all I'm going to say. And all I heard was stop killing abusement. Yeah. Um, can I also have uh, an athletics check from you, Kitty? Yep, yeah, sorry, I was just going to it's scroll okay. up again. That's okay. I've not got a mouse, though, it's all. Oh, the joys of a uh, trackpad. Perfect. Ooh, it's horrible. Still athletic. Yeah. yeah. So athletic, but my perception is crap. Yeah, maybe it's just because you, like, you decided to like run through, and maybe the problem that you're having is that you're kind of having to wait on Crumber a lot. Um, mm -hmm. That's why the perception yeah, like, stuff good. Why did I choose to go with you? Because <laughs> you're worried I would just eat the horses. Or maybe you should, maybe she's now realizing <laughs> that if she goes with you, will I'll she now be hit now. by lightning? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's all right. Uh, lightning can't strike the same crumbar twice. It didn't hit Watch you. it. It didn't hit you. In the first place. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. That Reach and Arya. I use booking it back to the camp. I take it. At least yeah, I had it anyway. Yeah, yeah, give me some athletics from both of these. Sure. Yay! Oofed. Ooh, nice. Boom, sound barrier broken yeah. again. Reach just presses <laughs> recall. <laughs> Hearthstone break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh. Are you fall, you fall behind, which again makes perfect sense, right? You were very, yeah. very badly hurt. And your form's a bit all rickety given that you were just a panther. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, you eventually get back. It'll take some time. Um, reach you, If you're willing to abandon her, you can get there quite, nah. pretty quickly. I don't want to go 40, 50 feet at the most in front. I wouldn't go much. No. Yeah, she's pretty much walking. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's, just, it's the equivalent of her moving half her speed. Basically, so yeah. it does take a bit of time, but you can definitely like, go ahead, look back, check out places, like wait for, her, move ahead, essentially acting a bit like a scout. Um, but it does slow you both down a bit to get back. Um, Eric, things go quiet, obviously. Um, maybe occasionally there's just like a bit of like a couple of bricks that fall off and smack into the ground a bit. That's the only noise that you really hear. What what are you up to, buddy? When uh, people are out of like yeah it's been like half an hour like, right? I can't see. like yeah like, yeah, okay, like cool. it can easily have been up to half an hour put it that way frustration and like anger build up and I just start like casting spells just in frustration yeah mm -hmm. like rage cast yeah that makes sense though right and I think yeah like is it like things like thunderclap and stuff like that you're casting underway Right, okay, yeah. Where are you? Ca are you casting it in any particular direction? Just in front of me, just like. Yeah, you just like. like you sort of hand. So you guys get like, as I said, up to like, say, fifty minutes, twenty-five yeah. like minutes away. It's like I was, and then, I was just boom. wondering if, he, yeah, I was just wondering if he was actually casting it on the estate. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, there's Not just, just one, Yeah, like there's a few of these, and you just hear a boom. Like, do you do anything as you like? Wander off. I mean, because you you have heard Thunderwave many times from Eric before, right? So it could just be that it's the rest of the building collapsing on itself. No, it, it sounds like his Thunderwave magic, right? Oh no, wait. Right, so it is a it yeah. is a, it is a distinct Thunderwave magic. It just depends. I mean, like, maybe like there's that shot of you's walking so far and the camera's looking between you and kitty and like you've got like the estate kind of as a dark shape above the tree line uh and you just hear boom, boom, 
and we cut to the uh, like reaching Arya like hobbling along off to the, mm. the camp and it does the same shot over their shoulders back to the estate and then the same thunderous noises like are you gonna carry on to your destinations or head back because I mean realistically the- that would be Eric in combat or fighting something realistically right mm. or Dakana, given the or gev- given know. the state he was in I don't really think it's something I would want to approach mm-hmm. so I'd just continue on yep, screw, like, I think screw that guy if he's in trouble bye I think it'd just be that kind of way like I'd turn around and be like well he was in a bad mood I could probably get you know as somebody who's probably thrown ten- temper tantrums in his own past and be like, hmm, can relate. And if it is anything dangerous, it's probably dead now anyway. So I just kind of turn back around and just keep walking. Like, would we hear his like frustrated cries as well, or is it just the thunder? No, you are too far away. Like, like it's about three hundred feet or whatever away. Like, he's are hearing this. Do you know what I mean, like, it's significant. And then another one is sounded. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just thunderous booms that he's are hearing through the trees. My last one, though, is uh, I just look up at the sky and just unleash a witch bolt. Yeah. And then you see, like, cracklings of lightning into the sky. I'd be concerned. Right? Because, <laughs> like, unless you can hear his, like, cries of, ah, nah, then, you wouldn't. as far as we're aware, he's being attacked and he's defended himself. Yeah, right. So what does Kitty do, then, if Crumbar's just, like, shrugging this off? Nonchalantly. Wow. I have half a man to go back and check on him. Yeah. So you start heading back. Cool. What about reaching Arya? Yeah. What are you guys doing? Still heading for the camp or heading back to the yep. thunderous storm? Yeah, camp. Just go for the camp. Yeah, That's camp, so. camp. Cool. Uh. I love no, that, that no, this no, is no. almost a. Well, <laughs> he's. He, he sucks to be him, bye. Um, <laughs> Cool. Mm-hmm. I think in that scene then we'll we'll fade out there for a break um, and we'll come back in 10 minutes. So I uh, see you everybody soon. Bye. 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 Bye.